hello guys in this video we are going to see how to delete the files older than x number of days using powershell so for this tutorial purpose i have created a uh, folder in my desktop named as ps and there is an another subfolder fs so each has the same set of files few pdf and ppt files now my objective is to, is to delete uh, only the pdf files that is this yellow color icons so let's see how can i achieve that and it should be older than uh, like seven days so first i need to able to list the files uh, in this uh, ps folder and as well as the files in the subfolder so let's get started with that so in powershell to get the list of files i will use a commandlet called uh, get child item and and the path which for which I need the files for. So if you see, I am getting all the files only in this particular directory, but not the files in this uh, under the fs. So for that, uh, what I need to do is uh, modify the command little bit to recurse even uh, even the subdirectories. So this will work for any number of subdirectories. Uh, even if there is an another directory inside the fs it will work but for the tutorial purpose i have limited only to two directories so and you cannot uh, directly send this output to delete the files because if you see here we have uh, the entire folder in this output so it will just delete the folder and i cannot uh, limit the output to only pdf so if i delete this entire folder uh, inside this folder we have uh, ppt files as well but my objective is to delete only the pdf so i will uh, uh, put an where command to limit only to the only to the files not folders so uh, all the output will get inside this where object and for each output that is a uh, short form is in, in powershell we will use it as dollar and underscore dot and ps is container so if i if i want to say not not directory so i have to add an uh, exclamation mark which is a logical symbol for not so let's let's run this and check the output so fair enough we haven't got this uh, fs in this particular output now let's move on to limiting the output only for pdf so in that case again i will use an and condition and dollar underscore for each object what i want to do is i need only pdf so if you see PDF uh, this this uh, object comes under the name so I am writing is dollar underscore dot name minus like star dot PDF so if you knew rejects you don't need to know a lot star means uh, any oil oil car uh, it's yeah oil oil card character uh, anything dot PDF so it will it will now display only the files which ends with dot pdf so we we got our uh, expected one now let's move on to the time part so again another run condition and dollar underscore dot so this is the time uh, this particular area is time it comes under last write time i am copying it and paste it no space should be here and less than so here you have to actually write the powershell code to get the time in powershell to get the time you will use a commandlet called get date 
so this will just return the date and I need to I need only um, seven days back so for that there is another option called add add days so I need uh, seven days back so I'm seeing minus seven so I will explain this part again uh, without this whole command it will be easy for you to understand so actually the problem here is uh, this all the PDF are are created uh, seven days back it's see if you see the time here it's in 2016 so let me create a dummy PDF file or I will edit this just it I just created this now if you see it's in 2017 now now let's run this just to confirm that it is uh, the days is working so if you see it haven't given me the uh, this new text document dot pdf so it is created today so the value will be zero we got this but i want seven days old minus seven and now the last after on, once you are confirmed and were confirmed and you were satisfied with the output which you are seeing so this uh, let's check these are the files if you want to delete now go to the pipe symbol remove item and force right if you see it has deleted in the screen so now inside also you don't have any anything uh, any PDF files which is the yellow color one now uh, coming to the time part now let's just run this get date so it gives me the entire today's date actually now to this object I am using another object called add days I am adding minus 7 means it is actually subtracting from the current date it is 15 February that's how this one works you can write this in a variable like this dollar my days equal to this command right uh, you will be using the same script for almost uh, in our most of the servers with for different folder so better we can create a variable like this and another variable for a path uh, again uh, this is another parameter which I have seen it will change frequently and substitute them in your command actually I haven't given the codes that's why it's yelling with me with error and just you need to substitute I will take this out so here instead of this path I will use dollar path because I have created a variable and instead of this date I will give I think I have you given my days okay now just run this command again to check whether it works so actually there is no files I can give the my days as zero So let's run this again 
so if you see here it deleted that file pdf file and and another thing is you can change this less than to greater than to delete uh, which are created recently which, uh, which are files uh, for example uh, most of the time you will need this to list the files which have been created uh, two day, uh, three days before or within the three days of time span so in that case you can just switch this less than to greater than that is gt so that's guys that's all for today thanks for watching this video